here's the shop with uh, Hill Tribe embroidered products and everything. So what do you got? And uh, silks. And it's just one shop after another on this little soy. You can see what they have to offer. Prices there are much cheaper and much higher quality. Much cheaper than the handicraft factories. And uh, because it comes mainly from the villages. And uh, it's also much higher quality than at the night bazaar. But these places are only open till about 6 or 7 at night. This shop here has a lot of uh, wonderful silks. Thai silks, you can see in the back there. And uh, shirts like this, I have a couple of these. They're really nice and comfortable. And uh, about $12. It's really nice. Okay, further down, here we go. Here's another shop with eclectic things and all kinds of neat little things you can see here that a lot of people like to wear and just all kinds of different things that you don't find uh, most shops, most shops of, uh, you know, traditional tie silk or something. This is, kind of has a mixed bag of everything. This place is so big they even had a room in the back. Okay, wives and women, if you can't find anything here, you won't be able to find anything. This place is huge. Now, this is the way we came from, and now they have this little alleyway down here with all kinds of hill tribe people and selling natural materials, things they dye and they make in their village. And you can really bargain on prices down here. They just got all kinds of materials, dresses. Just tons and tons and tons and tons, which is uh, really cool. This is only in the daytime. So. Okay, now we'll walk back out and see, have an idea of types of material here. Okay, good. Okay, this shop here has hemp fabric, as you can see, all made from from hemp and around the corner here and all their materials and things like that. This is their little shop. Okay. As you can see, this goes on and on and on. Okay, here we are in Water Road Market and here they have mainly dried fruits and vegetables. Of course, here you can see they have some fresh also. But the uh, dried stuff's much better, dried flowers, candies, different types of herbs and spices. So if you're looking for herbs and spices, it's where to go. So what do you got? How am I? <laughs> all right, you can see all the different dried things here. Okay, over, over here was the pork rind area. Chiang Mai is famous for these. Uh, people from Bangkok come here and buy these pork rinds. See this guy over here with his sausage. This is really good Chiang Mai sausage and other types of food, and they're just buying the daylights out of it. Okay. Some more food, fried foods. More dried mushrooms, a lot of dried mushrooms. And over here we have the pickled fruit. <laughs> There's the different types of fruit that you can eat. They'll even give you a taste if you want. This is the fireworks stand here in Watered Oak Market. You can see that they got about everything. Okay, they got your Roman candles, they got rockets. And here's where we get our decorations for Loi Gatong, the lanterns, which will be next month. And you can get all that stuff here. So, uh, if you can't have fireworks in your country, you can sure have them here. They got everything. And next month it'll be loaded, so. Okay. Okay, we cross the street. Now we're at the Tong Lam Yai Market. And here's their local bud collection. There they go buying it. Okay, we just found the first strawberries of the season, so 
Ming just bought some strawberries, and then we're going to take them home and try them out. Okay, we turned the corner, now it changes from fruit to lovely flowers, which we'll uh, check out here. Oh, little pumpkins. Oh, we have to make pumpkin pie. There's some pumpkins. Some of the beautiful flowers. Boy, I wish you could smell this. It smells great. Uh, for you to see the prices, a hundred, that's a hundred bucks, not a hundred dollars. That's about uh, two dollars and twenty-five cents. That one there is a dollar dollar twenty with the basket. Very cheap, very nice. Look at these beautiful orchids on here. Wow. Really nice. Now we're back in Waterloo Market again. We're going to head back to where our vehicle is over there on Taipei Road. So we'll be here. One more look at the market. There's one person down here I want you to see. Forgot about this. This is the herb lady. And man, do they have the herbs. Smells really good.